The destroyer USS Ager home fires an ASROC with a nuclear depth bomb and shot Dominic Swordfish ASROC matchbox reload doors are visible in this photograph of the Japanese Asagiri class destroyer, in 2008. ASROC launched from USS Charles F. Adams, in 1960. The Ruhr 5 ASROC is an all-weather, all-sea conditions anti-submarine missile system. Developed by the United States Navy in the 1950s, it was deployed in the 1960s, updated in the 1990s, and eventually installed on over 200 USN surface ships, specifically cruisers, destroyers, and frigates. The ASROC has been deployed on scores of warships of many other navies, including Canada, Germany, Italy, Japan, the Republic of China, Greece, Pakistan and others. ASROC started development as the rocket-assisted torpedo program by the Naval Ordnance Test Station at China Lake in the early 1950s to develop a surface warship ASW weapon counter to the new post-World War II submarines which ran quieter. At much higher speed and could attack from much longer range with high-speed homing torpedoes. In addition, the goal was to take advantage of modern sonars with a much larger detection range. An extended range torpedo delivered by parachute from the air would allow warships the standoff capability to attack hostile submarines with very little advance notice to the hostile submarine. The RAT program came in three phases, RAT A, RAT B and RAT C. RAT A were efforts to develop a compact and economical standoff ASW for smaller warships, but were found to be either unreliable or had too short a range. RAT C was a program to develop a standoff ASW weapon that used a nuclear depth charge. This would require a range of at least 8,000 yards to escape potential damage from the underwater blast. Unlike the original RAT program rockets, the RAT-C was considerably larger to accomplish the extended range needed and was to be fitted to larger warships. With the failure of both the RAT-A and RAT-B programs, RAT-C was redesigned from a standoff nuclear ASW weapon to one that could use not only a nuclear depth charge but also a homing ASW torpedo. To obtain the accuracy needed, the RAT-C rocket launcher had to be redesigned with larger side fins. This program finally combined reliability and accuracy, along with the necessary standoff range. However, before RAT-C reached initial operational status in 1960 aboard the large U.S. Navy destroyer leader USS Norfolk, its name was changed to the present ASROC. ASROC was first deployed in 1961 and eventually made the vast majority of USN surface combatants nuclear capable. The first ASROC system using the MK-112 Matchbox launcher was developed in the 1950s and installed in the 1960s. This system was phased out in the 1990s and replaced with the RUM-139 Vertical Launch ASROC, or VLA. After a surface ship, patrol plane or anti-submarine helicopter detects an enemy submarine by using sonar or other sensors, it could relay the sub's position to an ASROC-equipped ship for attack. The attacking ship would then fire an ASROC missile carrying an acoustic homing torpedo or a W-44 nuclear depth bomb onto an unguided ballistic trajectory toward the target. At a predetermined point on the missile's trajectory, the payload separates from the missile and deploys a parachute to permit splashdown and water entry at a low speed and with minimum detectable noise. Water entry activates the torpedo, which is guided by its own sonar system, and homes in on the target using either active sonar or passive sonar. The W-44 nuclear depth charge entered service in 1961, but was never used beyond one or two tests before the limited nuclear test ban treaty banning underwater nuclear tests went into effect. A total of 575 weapons were produced. The W-44 weighed 77 kilograms with a diameter of 35 centimeters and length of 64 centimeters. Following payload separation, the unguided W-44 sank quickly to a predetermined depth where the 10 kiloton warhead detonated. The nuclear-armed ASROC was never used in combat. W-44-armed ASROC missiles were retired by 1989, when all types of nuclear depth bombs were removed from deployment. One of the first ASROC installations was on USS Norfolk in 1960. The first large group of ships to receive ASROC were 78 gearing-class destroyers, modified under the Fleet Rehabilitation and Modernization Markai program in the early 1960s. A Mark 112A tube ASROC launcher was added along with other major modifications. ASROC reloads were stowed alongside the helicopter hangar and handled by a small crane. The 31 U.S. Navy Spruance class destroyers were all built with the Mark 16 Mod 7 ASROC launching group and MK4 ASROC weapons handling system reload system. These had one standard Mark 112 octuple ASROC launcher, 
located immediately above a reload system holding an additional 16 assembled rounds. Thus, each Spruance class destroyer originally carried a maximum total of 24 ASROC. Most other U.S. Navy and Allied Navy destroyers, destroyer escorts, frigates, and several different classes of cruisers only carried the 1 ASROC Matchbox MK-112 launcher with 8 ASROC missiles. The Matchbox MK-112 launchers were capable of carrying a mixture of the two types. Reloads were carried in many classes, either on first level of the superstructure immediately abaft the launcher, or in a separate deckhouse just forward or abaft the MK-112. The MK-16 launching group also had configurations that supported RGM-84 Harpoon, or a variation of the Tartar missile in limited distribution. Ships with the MK-26 GMLS, and late marks of the MK-10 GMLS aboard the Belknap-class cruisers, could accommodate ASROC in these power-loaded launchers. Most Spruance-class destroyers were later modified to include the MK-41 VLS, these launchers are capable of carrying a mixture of the RUM-139 VL ASROC, the Tomahawk Plum, and other missiles. All of the Spruance destroyers carried two separate quad harpoon launchers. Other U.S. ships with the MK-41 can also accommodate VLASROC. Map with former Roar 5 operators in red. Thanks for watching.